Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your week ahead. We're going to break it down day by day and see the general energies and actions of each day. Um, so you can have an idea of what's coming up, what to expect for the week ahead. Um, we're going to look at Sunday through Saturday, January 18th through the 23rd. So if you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. If this does resonate with you. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button below so you can see the immediate future videos um, throughout the week. To those of you who uh, regularly watch, thank you so much. Uh, either way, if you do like this layout, this spread, I haven't done it for a few months. So hit the like button. Let me know. Happy to continue doing it. So, all right, Pisces. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip-flop it how you need to. Also, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. All right. Um... So like I said, if this does resonate with you, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, you find that information below as well. All right, Pisces. <clears throat> we get ahead. All right, so Capricorn energy, Libra, Aries. It could be anyone. Overall energy for the week ahead for Pisces, please. Thank you. Knight of Pentacles. So there could be an offer, but it's about taking things slow. With the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, slowest moving night in the deck. So you're slowly moving forward, taking things slow here. All right. So Sunday, we have the Five of Cups. Some type of letdown, disappointment, could be regret. Show me the Five of Cups. Damn. The Three of Swords. There's heartbreak. Um, separation, distance, or at least emotionally detached here. Somebody is really hurt, really in their feelings here. The world, some type of change, breaking old cycles, beginning new ones here. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. So somebody with the Ace of Wands, somebody could be walking away towards something new. Um, it causes a lot of pain around this, so a lot of separation, a lot of, I'm sorry, a lot of you know, just hurt, overall hurt and let down. All right, so for Monday of the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be. Um, Sagittarius energy with the temperance. This is someone who's kind of closed off with their emotions. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Somebody who's just very much to themselves, going within, kind of wanting to be alone, healing, trying to just let go of something. Not a lot happening that day, not probably not much conversation, just it's looking like somebody kind of wants to be alone there. All right, so for Tuesday, you get the Emperor. Uh, Aries energy, one card for this Emperor. What's up with him on Tuesday? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Somebody could be um, with the Four of Cups here, not paying much attention again, possibly, you know. Um, Focusing on money, stability, pinnacles, like material things. So again, it's not, with the four cups, it's like somebody's staring right at something, but looking right through it here. The death, some type of transformation someone is going through. Maybe feeling like something is just over here, kind of unattentive energy. One more card. Thank you. The hangman. This is your energy, but somebody kind of just falling back, maybe, you know, needing some time, trying to see things from all perspectives. But again, not, you know, maybe somebody's more focused on their money here because not really paying much attention to things. All right. So Wednesday, you have the, shoot, the nine of cups here. This is something that you see as a wish, a wish fulfillment. Um, could be a Taurus or a marriage or could be something spiritual. You could work with this person, but you're working on your wish fulfillment here. Um, it could be something, like I said, to do with your religion. 
<clears throat> could be with a Taurus, could be with just with the connection of marriage, but working hard towards that. And um, give me one more card for Wednesday. Putting in the time and energy. Yeah, see the four, the two of pentacles keeps popping out. So you're working on something stable here and it makes you very happy. It could be a marriage, a home, a commitment. The two of pentacles is there. So it could be a situation that kind of just keeps going back and forth. Or maybe you're just unsure. Um, for others of you, you could be turning like a, um, a hobby into a business and that's making you happy. You could be doing something like that as well. But things are still like there's a choice. There's a decision or kind of just being up in the air about it. The Queen of Swords. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you could be very work focused, very determined, or just kind of not sure, kind of guarded if you can trust the situation, but it does make you happy. All right, so for Thursday, we have the Nine of Swords. Somebody's really stressed out, anxiety, worried about something here. Show me this Nine of Swords for Pisces, please, for Thursday. The Four of Swords, healing, wanting to be alone, could like literally somebody could be laying in bed stressing here. Stress, worry, anxiety, logical thoughts that aren't serving anything, waiting for things to move forward. That choice that I was talking about. So seeing a future and trying to move towards that, but there's some stress and possibly like lack of communication that day. All right, show me this justice card for Pisces for Friday. Could be with a Libra um, or a legal situation here. There could be a reconciliation. It could be a married man. Somebody, it doesn't have to be somebody um, that you're very attracted to here with this energy. So things are trying to balance out. Could be dating or hanging out. Um, but it's been a struggle with the Nine of Wands. You know, this is this is, it seems like an ongoing situation with whatever you have going on this week, and it's just kind of wearing you down. See the ten of wands at the bottom. You're fighting through it, but it's not easy. All right, so Saturday we have the devil. Show me the devil for Pisces, please. This is Capricorn energy. This could be a toxic situation. It could be like a lustful situation, an ex. The Magician, the King of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. So this could be your energy. You could be dealing with another water sign. Just somebody that you have a lot of emotions for. But the Devil and the Magician there. So things kind of keep going round and round with the situation. Somebody could have options. Or just be confused, unsure. But it's also like giving off the energy that they know what they want to manifest. Since the Page of Pentacles is here. So there's an opportunity but this Queen of Wands and the Fool, a lot of attraction between you and this person. <clears throat> you're moving forward. You're going towards it. Taking that leap, taking that risk. But the Devil and the Magician there, I would say, you know, there could be like an obsession here. Or like I said, like um, a situation that just keeps going back and forth. Like maybe somebody has options and they keep bouncing back and forth. That type of thing. But you're feeling good. You're feeling optimistic. You're going towards an opportunity here. You may have multiple admirers here with the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups here. Um, but definitely like a, a strong sexual attraction. This person could definitely be very much in love with your looks. So, all right, Pisces. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated for you. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys would uh, like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Um, just remember the basis of the reading um, or overall energy. Take your time. Take things slow. Okay? All right, Pisces. Talk to you guys later.